The Brondel Swash 1000 is a top-of-the-line bidet toilet seat. It's packed with features including a heated seat, oscillating nozzle with adjustable spray width, water pressure, deodorizer, and a remote control. The Swash 1000 also has a built-in air dryer to help you get dry quickly. Installation is easy and the seat is adjustable to fit most toilets. In this video, we'll be checking out what comes in the box, how to install the bidet, and then we'll see it in action. In the box, there's a user documentation, which includes instructions on how to install the bidet. Then there's the mounting plate to secure the seat to the toilet, mounting bolts along with the washers, a T-valve connector to split the water supply to the toilet and the bidet, adjustable bracket which is used for the toilet seat, screws if you want to secure the remote to the wall, the hose to supply the water to the bidet, the remote along with three AAA batteries, and then we have the Swash 1000. At the base of the seat, there's an IR sensor for the remote, along with LED indicator lights for power, eco mode, and the seat temperature. On the left side of the seat, we have another IR sensor for the remote and the connector for the hose. Over on the right side, we have one more IR sensor, along with a limited number of manual controls, including the power button, rear cleaning, and a nozzle cleansing button. To wrap up the close-up of the seat, it comes with a 3.5 foot power cord, and from the bottom you can see the dryer along with the water nozzle. Once ready to install, turn off the water supply to the toilet and empty out the water tank. Grab a monkey wrench and a rag to clean up any water spills. Begin by removing the water supply from the tank and installing the T-valve. Once the T-valve is installed, connect the water supply. Now install the toilet seat bracket. This is what the seat uses to secure it to the toilet. Slide on the toilet seat. Connect the hose from the T-valve to the bidet. Turn the water supply back on. And finally, plug it in and you're good to go. Checking out all the available features on the seat, we'll need to use a remote. The top five buttons on the remote are the buttons that you're going to use most often. Selecting the rear button sets the nozzle further back while spraying. Selecting front sets the nozzle directly below. The move button is what I like to call the power washer and will only work while either the rear or front button is selected. When selected, the nozzle will move in a back and forth motion. Selecting stop will stop the nozzles from spraying water and turning off the air dryer. Dry turns on the fan for two minutes at a time. If you still don't find yourself dry, pressing the button once again will extend the dryer time for another two minutes. From my personal experience, I found that two minutes wasn't enough time to fully dry off. So you'll need to either extend your time or be fine with a little bit of dampness or even dry yourself off the old fashioned way. In the center of the remote is where you're going to have all the personal adjustments that can be selected. You can adjust the water pressure while the nozzles are working, control the heat from the fan, and manually adjust the position of the nozzle. One of the more popular features in my home is a heated toilet seat, where you can choose between three heating levels. 
White Spray allows you to cycle through three different spray widths during the cleaning cycle. With water temp, you can select whether you want cold, warm, or hot water. You can select this before your cleaning cycle or even during your cleaning cycle. But let me tell you, you'll want to make sure that you set the water temperature before you start the cycle. Otherwise, you might be in for quite a surprise. And for the last two options on the remote, we have the nozzle sterilize option as well as the deodorize option. Outside of the powered features, the seat also has a soft closed lid. as well as a magnetic remote mount for easy mounting. In terms of maintenance, there isn't really much to it. Using the nozzle cleaning button directly on the seat, pressing it will extend the front nozzle so it can be cleaned using a toothbrush or cloth. Pressing it a second time will extend the rear nozzle so it can be cleaned as well. This is where I'm gonna end today's video. If you enjoyed this video on the Brondell Swash, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.